here you can see the sundowner being prepared for the weight balance exercise. You can see the jack underneath the wing, not attached yet. But you can see that it's being readied to be raised. Here the students are preparing the computer which will record the readings. They hook up cables to each of the scales, one at the tail, and at the top of that jack, and on the other side there's a similar scale at the top of that jack. Student checking the fuel, and also checking the inside of the aircraft to make sure there's nothing extraneous that they're going to end up weighing. Here we see the student checking the fuel level using the dipstick in order to determine how much fuel in volume there is in the tank. We can then use math to determine what weight that fuel has. This is a close-up of the jack and how it attaches to the wing. You notice there's a very special location. You don't just put the jack anywhere. You'll also see at the top of the jack there's a scale that scales electronically attached to a computer where they read what the weight is on the scale. For safety purposes, these signs have been hung on both wings and on the nose of the aircraft so the people around the aircraft know that this aircraft is going to be up in the air and unstable. Students are taking the cowling off the engine so that they can check to make sure that hydraulic fluids and oil are at the correct levels in the engine as per the instructions in the manual. In the same way they had to check for fuel and make sure there's no fuel, they have to make sure that the correct amount of the other fluids are in place. A level has been put on the cargo area in order to check to see when the aircraft is level when they raise it. They're about to begin raising the aircraft. They have one person on each jack. You can see one here, you can see one over there. They've zeroed the scales in the computer and they will work together. So you see the jacks moving together to raise the aircraft both sides evenly. You'll also notice that they're seated in a position such that should the plane fall off the jack, they're low, low enough that they would not get stricken by the wing. So you notice now they're raising the plane on jacks and doing it equally on both sides, although you can't see that here. So you also use the ring to keep it secure, so if something should let go, that ring will keep the jack upright so the plane doesn't fall. Now that the aircraft is at a suitable height, they hook up the weight on the tail so they can see how much weight is being pulled upwards on the tail. So having recorded the weights on the two wing scales and the tail, they're now going to lower the aircraft slowly. When they've got it low enough that there's no tension on the tail anymore, they disconnect the tail weight so that the plane will not sit on it when they finish lowering it. As we can see, the wheels are still not on the ground under the wings, but the wheel is down at the nose.